Hey folks, how we doing today? It's me again, Shannon Fox here, the Voted Patriots 2 channel. And I've got a little bit of a disgusting video for you, but I want to, before I get into the video, explain a couple things and tell you about a documentary that I watched earlier today that my wife actually turned me on to. Uh, really uh, interesting, explains a lot, and let's give me a little bit more insight as to why this war is happening uh, with Israel and Hamas. Uh, this is not the first time, probably won't be the last time, uh, It'll be the last time Israel has their way, but at any rate, <clears throat> this ideology is uh, built in. Uh, this terrorist ideology is built in. It is born and bred. It is the mother's milk to their children. Uh, the uh, want and indoctrination of these uh, Palestinian children uh, to be uh, trained to be a martyr or be willing to to fulfill the uh, prophecies of the Quran, which include uh, the extermination of Israel. And uh, that sounds like a crazy statement, but you got to go check out this movie. Uh, it's got a little bit of biblical reference in it. It's got some black and white footage in it. It actually come out in the 80s. And it is so true to fact as to exactly what is going on today. It is literally like everything this guy is explaining as to what the Jews have been through from beginning of time through Hitler and since uh, the 40s and on with Israel trying to defend its people everything going on with uh, Gaza the Palestinian people uh, the land uh, honestly for 4,000 years belonging to Israel a lot of this stuff I did not know uh, I've just was curious about why this war is going on other than just hatred it's not about hatred it's about an ideology from the Quran that these Islamists believe that they're doing the right thing by training their children to be soldiers and weapons of destruction against their enemies that is the way their Bible and I'm using that term lightly that is the way their Bible uh, explains things should be so whoever wrote that thing was definitely not a man of God and it definitely was not a God there's only one true God his name is Jesus Christ our Lord and Savior I have to believe that I believe that is the only God no matter what name you call God there is only one God but as far as whoever wrote the Quran I think that is nuts uh, just from some of the do uh, documented information that I've heard in this particular movie that I was watching with my wife, let me give a shout out to my wife for um, doing this. My wife knows that I'm part Jewish, part Indian, part Irish. I'm a Heinz 57, but more than anything, I'm a red-blooded American that loves my country. And I consider myself a Christian. Uh, I love Jesus Christ. Uh, I love my family, love my country. And I love the idea of having peace in the world. And at this point in time, with weak leaders uh, like Joe Biden, it's not even possible. And that's the sad truth. But there's this movie that my wife said, hey, I know you've been watching a lot of this stuff on, she told me, hey, I know you've been watching a lot of this stuff on what's going on with the war overseas, and I have too. She says, I know you haven't been reporting on it much. And she asked me why, and I'm just like, I don't know what I can add to this story. I don't know how much of what I'm seeing on television is the truth. That's the main one for me. And another thing is, I don't really want to promote the awfulness of war in any way, shape, or form. I would love to inform people on something that is new news about the war. But I don't have any new news other than this is not the first time. Israel has been under attack by all its Arab, uh, all the Arab nations around it for about 100 plus years. At, at, at the least but there's many a documented conversations with Yasser Arafat and several other Arab leaders wishing for the extermination of the Jewish nation uh, they believe that Jewish is like to them is is the infidel is the Gentile is the one that needs to be rooted out crazy mentality that they believe their God wants them to eradicate another uh, population of people. I just, how is that godly? I don't, I can't even picture 
of that. But at any rate, that is the way they teach their children. That is why there's not a country over in the Middle East, not one, that wants to take these two point something million Palestinians in as refugees and put them in their backyard because a good percentage of them, even though a lot of them are victims, a good percentage of them are anti-Israel, anti-American, uh, pro-terrorist, uh, religious zealots with a fundamentalist uh, mindset that is just, I would have to say, just my opinion, a little bit warped and a whole lot of evil. But why I'm telling you about this is there is a movie out that actually helped me understand why this is happening. And I really kind of needed that because I don't really uh, want to go into talking podcast uh, business with y'all about a war that I can't relate to the struggle, what's truth, what's the lie, uh, what's really going on. I don't want to even get into that. That's why I haven't done much reporting on it. But, but at any rate, my wife did find a great documentary that I watched earlier. I just finished watching it with her. And um, let me just say, um, explains a lot. It explains why Israel is not playing. It explains why Israel needs to do what they need to do. And I'll leave it at that uh, to take care of business because... The other team, the bad guys, I'm going to call them bad guys, in their mind, there's only one solution, and it has nothing to do with negotiations, if you know what I'm saying. If you know what I'm saying. I'm trying to keep it family friendly over here for YouTube's sake, because they don't like this kind of stuff. But at any rate, the movie is called, if I haven't told you already, it is called Israel, Islam, and Armageddon. And it's a scary-ass movie, considering it's 15, 20 years old. And it sounds like what we're listening to on the news today. It's the exact same scenario way back when. And it just lets me know, gives me a little bit of backstory as to why. Uh, you cannot reason with these terrorists, because they don't consider themselves terrorists. They consider themselves uh, religious zealots in the name of doing harm to others in the name of their God. How, you can't reason with that, and that's just the facts of the matter, folks. And Israel knows it. Israel's been dealing with this for many a moon, and so they know there's only one solution to this. And I, like I said, I'll leave it at that. But let's go ahead and get into this article. And this is just a little more confirmation of the way these folks feel. This is uh, an effect. Hamas official, Ghazi Hamad, he is, uh, I guess, like a number three guy for the Hamas. Um, he says if we don't, if Israel needs to be annihilated and they're going to teach Israel a lesson, we must teach Israel a lesson, it's his words, and he says they're going to continue to repeat these uh, random surprise attacks like they did on Israel on October 7th pretty sad sickness situation to even hear that come out of somebody's mouth but I think it needs to be heard I think people need to be aware I think people need to know that these people that are supporting this stuff uh, these pro Hamas people they're crazy uh, or they're just uh, really warped from maybe progressiveness maybe wokeness maybe too much internet maybe they're like these people religious zealots that uh, believe everything they read from obviously the wrong book it says Gaza Hamad of Hamas political bureau said in October 24th on October 24th 2023 just the other day show on LBC TV in Lebanon that Hamas is prepared to repeat the October 7th Al Qaza flood operation time and again until Israel is annihilated. So this is actually Al Aqaza flood is the name of the actual operation where they come in and killed, uh, uh, took hostages. Uh, sad situation. It says Hamas terrorists uh, 
stormed the Israeli border on October 7th, uh, slaughtering over 1,400 Jews, taking another 220 hostages, including 30 children. And now the numbers are, this is a little ad-lib to this, there is now a number out that there is over 500 Americans that are trapped in Gaza, which will, at this point, we have to assume they're hostages because they have no way out. And that number may grow, and that number may even be changed at one point to go up or down according to who's telling the story. You know what I'm talking about. But it says, um, <clears throat> the horrific scene was nothing like nothing we have witnessed in years. The massacre was the largest mass murder of Jews since World War II. Yeah, it was pretty bad. Heck of an ambush, folks. I hate to see it. I hate to see a war start over at and a thousand idiots with machine guns and and para paragliders uh, start a war. Uh, I believe it's going to be uh, a bad situation for them in the end, including all the civilians that live in the Gaza Strip that are just kind of stuck in the middle. I feel for those people as well because I don't know that everybody that is in Gaza is a pro Hamas sympathizer. And therefore, my heart goes out to not just those folks, but people on both sides of the battle lines that are the innocent, that didn't ask for this, didn't plan for this, didn't prepare for this, and really have no part in it other than being the casualties of war. It's just really sad. It says, we must, this guy here says, uh, we must teach Israel a lesson. And let me go ahead and get into the video. I don't want to talk for him, but you need to hear this sicko. I'm just going to call him a sicko. He's a religious zealot more than anything else. Israel is not a country on the earth. We are not a country on the earth. Because in fact, it is considered a country I'm going to back it up and read it. He's speaking in another language, folks. So let me just see if we can get, see if I can read as fast as this guy can talk. All right, here we go. It says, Israel is a country that has no place in our land. We must remove this country because it is constitute a security, military, and political catastrophe to the Arab and Islamic nations, and we must be finished. We are not ashamed to say this. Uh, we must teach Israel a lesson. Hold on. Moving way too fast for me, folks. It says, we must teach Israel a lesson because we have a determination and resolve and the capacity to fight. says, we will have to pay a price, and yes, we are ready to pay it. We, will ha we are called a nation of martyrs, and we are proud to sacrifice as martyrs. Yeah, there's no negotiating with these people. We did what we want to harm, we did not want to harm civilians, but there were complications on the ground, and there was a party in the area with civilian population. It was a large area across 40 kilometers, Talking about the uh, music event, uh, occupation where the Gaza Strip. No, I'm not talking about the Palestinian lands. Does this mean that an, uh, this is an annihilation of Israel? The existence of Israel is what causes all of that pain, blood, and tears. This guy is blaming Israel for their choice of actions on October 7th. Wow. says the people of Hamas are the victim of an occupation and for that they do the things that they do. He says nobody should blame us. And he, he believes everything they do is justified. What a sicko. All right, folks, that's all i got for you from this sicko today. I hate to bring you sad, negative news. That's why I haven't been reporting much on the war. It does tear up my heartstrings to realize just how many people are suffering today uh, due to missiles raining down on them or having to hide in a hole 
in fear of getting murdered uh, for stepping outside. It's just a sad situation, and I don't know what to say about it other than go check out that documentary if you want to understand a little more about the, the plight of the Jewish people and the Israeli uh, IDF, the Israeli Defense Force. And uh, just better know this. There was one takeaway, a couple of takeaways I got from all of this. Uh, and one is, Israel has always been a badass when it comes to their military might. They uh, held off over a million uh, soldiers uh, in the early, I believe it was in the late 70s, over a million soldiers with 300,000 soldiers. Uh, Israel is as determined as any soldier out there to win this fight. Uh, the IDF is not only a well-oiled machine, but they have one of the one of the largest militaries as far as countries go, and they have the third best air force in the world. Uh, as far as uh, I'm concerned, just like biblical text says, uh, Israel, the Jews, are God's chosen people. And I would not F around with them, because if you do, you may be like uh, Hamas today and F around and find out in the worst kind of ways. That's all I got for you folks. I uh, figured I'd bring y'all uh, just my take on the sad war situation going on today. Everybody, uh, have a good day. Uh, be bringing you a little bit more cheery news tomorrow. But uh, no worries about Israel, folks. No matter if Joe Biden's peeing down his legs behind the progressives, putting pressure on him to backpedal out of this uh, Israeli uh, support, that's okay. I don't believe Israel needs uh, Joe Biden's support. I believe uh, Joe Biden needs Israel, to be honest. Israel's the only democracy left in the Middle East, and Joe Biden is a fool for not wanting to support Israel 100%. Uh, shows he's being pushed around by his party. He has done put flopped about three or maybe four times in a week on his stance on sending aid, uh, supporting uh, everything involving Israel and uh, the Palestinians. He doesn't know which, uh, know which way to stand, uh, know which way the wind blows even at this point, but it is what it is. Uh, I believe Israel will be just fine. They're going to take care of their business. And uh, maybe they will help rid the world of these uh, religious fanatics. And I believe the silver lining for America in this is, is going to be in this, that a lot more Americans, independents, even Democrats, are going to throw their hands up and say, I can't support uh, these pro-Hamas Democrats anymore. And it may be just the difference we need. Just just the throw us over the over the threshold we need to take back our country. Donald Trump, 2024. Uh, with all this anti-Semitism going on, it's dividing the Democrat Party, whether anybody wants to think about it, talk about it, or point it out. The Democrat Party is fractured today. Behind the progressives that support terrorists and the normal people that for some reason support Democrats. Everybody have a great day. Over and out.